In this lecture, we will discuss aldol condensation, retroaldol, crossaldol, and intramolecular aldol condensation. Aldehydes, sometimes ketones, having alpha hydrogen, undergo self addition, followed by condensation, on warming with dilute or mild base, to give beta hydroxyaldehyde, called aldol, which means aldehyde plus alcohol. For example, acetaldehyde, in the presence of sodium hydroxide base, undergoes self addition, to give 3 hydroxybutanol. The hydroxyl group is located specifically at the beta position relative to the carbonyl group. The product of an aldol addition reaction is always a beta hydroxyaldehyde or ketone. The mechanism can be written as The alpha position is deprotonated by base to form an enolate. Since hydroxide is used as the base, both the enolate and the aldehyde are present at equilibrium. The enolate serves as a nucleophile and attacks an aldehyde molecule to form an alkoxide ion. The resulting alkoxide ion is then protonated to give the product beta hydroxyaldehyde. Notice the use of equilibrium arrows for every step of the mechanism. For most simple aldehydes, the position of equilibrium favors the aldol product. However, for most ketones, the aldol product is not favored, and poor yields are common. In this reaction, the reverse process is favored, that is, the beta hydroxy ketone is converted back into cyclohexanone more readily than the forward reaction. This reverse process is called a retroaldol reaction. In retroaldol, the mechanism has three steps, which are simply the reverse of the three steps for an aldol addition. First, the beta hydroxy group is deprotonated, forming an alkoxide anion. The second step involves reformation of a carbonyl group to expel an enolate ion as a leaving group. The expulsion of carbanion is justified because an enolate is resonance stabilized, with the vast majority of the negative charge residing on the oxygen atom. The enolate is then protonated. Thus retroaldol gives us the starting reactants, which had formed aldol product. Therefore to find the reactants, the aldol product can be cleaved between alpha and beta carbon and restoring the carbonyl group at hydroxy position. Aldols, which are beta-hydroxycarbonyl compounds, can be easily dehydrated to alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds in the acidic or basic medium or sometimes on simple heating. This is called aldol condensation. That means this beta-hydroxyaldehyde, when heated in acidic or basic medium, will undergo elimination to produce unsaturation between alpha and beta position to form alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. In the base catalyzed dehydration of aldol, the base deprotonates the alpha position to form an enolate. The enolate then expels hydroxide ion as a leaving group to produce alpha-beta unsaturation. Remember that, normally alcohols do not undergo dehydration in the presence of a strong base, but here, the presence of the carbonyl group enables the dehydration reaction to occur. This elimination is called E1CB elimination first order via conjugate base. In E1 process, intermediate is cation, here intermediate is an anion, an enolate, which is a conjugate base. Hence the name E1CB. In the acid catalyzed dehydration of aldols, the hydroxyl group at beta position is protonated. In the second step, 
The conjugate base of the acid catalyst abstracts the alpha proton so as to produce unsaturation between alpha and beta position. This helps in the expulsion of water from beta position and regenerating the acid catalyst. In cases where two stereoisomeric pi bonds can be formed, the product with the least steric hindrance is generally the major product. In this example, formation of the trans pi bond is favored over formation of the cis pi bond. Usually, an aldol condensation can be achieved by simply performing the reaction at an elevated temperature. In fact, in some cases, it is not even possible to isolate the beta hydroxy ketone. As an example, consider the following case. In this case, the aldol addition product cannot be isolated. Even at moderate temperatures, only the condensation product is obtained, because the condensation reaction involves formation of a highly conjugated pi system. The yields for condensation reactions are often much greater than the yields for addition reaction. The following example illustrates this point. When the reaction is performed at low temperature, the aldol addition product is obtained, but the yield is very poor. As explained earlier, the starting material is a ketone, and the equilibrium does not favor formation of the aldol addition product. However, when the reaction is performed at an elevated temperature, the aldol condensation product is obtained in very good yield. Because the equilibrium is driven by formation of a conjugated pi system. Thus the self-addition of enolizable aldehydes to form beta-hydroxyaldehyde is called aldol addition reaction. Whereas if this product is dehydrated to form alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compound, it is called aldol condensation. Let us now discuss cross-aldol condensation. It is simply aldol condensation between different partners. Thus it can occur between two different aldehydes. Or between two different ketones. Or between an aldehyde and a ketone. In order to understand the cross-aldol reaction between two different aldehydes, consider the cross-aldol condensation between acetaldehyde and propionaldehyde. Both these aldehydes are enolizable and can form enolates and act as enolate acceptors as well. Thus four products will be formed. The acetaldehyde enolate will add to its precursor and form self-addition product. Similarly, the enolate of propionaldehyde will add to its precursor and form self-addition product. Since the reaction mixture has both aldehydes, therefore, enolate of propionaldehyde can add to acetaldehyde to form cross product, and enolate of acetaldehyde can add to propionaldehyde to form second cross product. Thus, with the presence of two enolates and two enolate acceptors in the reaction mixture, a total of four products are possible in this reaction. Reactions that form mixtures of products are of little use, and therefore, crossed aldol reactions are only efficient if they can be performed in a way that minimizes the number of possible products. This is best accomplished in either of the following ways. If one of the aldehyde is non-enolyzable, that is, it lacks alpha proton, then the cross aldol condensation will give only two products. The enolate of propionaldehyde will add to its precursor to form the self-addition product. This enolate will add to formaldehyde to give cross product. The self-addition product can be avoided if we add enolyzable aldehyde dropwise to a solution of non-enolyzable aldehyde and base. For example, in the above case, formaldehyde has no alpha proton and is therefore non-enolyzable but it is a good enolate acceptor. Adding propionaldehyde or any other aldehyde having alpha proton, dropwise to a mixture of non-enolyzable aldehyde and base, 
will avoid self-condensation to a great extent and furnish cross product in good yield. Second type of cross aldol addition is possible between two different ketones. However, ketones show poor reactivity due to electronic and steric reasons. Therefore, they give poor yields in aldol condensation. So this type of aldol condensation is rarely attempted. Another kind of cross condensation is between an aldehyde and a ketone. Since ketones are poor enolate acceptors and rarely undergo self-condensation, therefore when both aldehyde and ketone have alpha hydrogens, two products are formed. Cross product between an aldehyde and ketone. Self-condensation of an aldehyde. Consider for example, cross addition between acetaldehyde and acetone. In the presence of base sodium hydroxide, enolate of acetone adds to acetaldehyde to form the cross aldol product. The enolate of acetaldehyde can add to its precursor to form the self addition product. In this reaction, if an aldehyde without alpha hydrogen is used, the self addition product is avoided and only cross product is obtained. This type of aldol reaction is called claisen schmidt reaction. For example, if acetone is treated with benzaldehyde under basic conditions, the enolate of acetone will add to benzaldehyde to form beta-hydroxyketone, which quickly dehydrates to alpha-beta-unsaturated ketone. This is favored due to conjugation of double bond with benzene ring. Cross aldol reaction can also be performed in the presence of LDA, so that only cross product is formed. For example, if acetone is treated with LDA, enolate is formed, which can be treated with aldehyde to form only the cross product. This is achieved by adding ketone or aldehyde dropwise to LDA solution. This results in the formation of enolate solution. The other aldehyde can then be added dropwise to this enolate solution, so that cross aldol addition produces only one major product. This type of process is called a directed aldol addition. Compounds that possess two carbonyl groups can undergo intramolecular aldol reactions. Consider the reaction that occurs when 2,5-hexanedione is heated in the presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide. In this case, a cyclic product is formed. The mechanism for this process is nearly identical to the mechanism for any other aldol condensation but with one notable difference, the enolate is formed on one carbonyl and the other carbonyl group acts as enolate acceptor, both present in the same molecule resulting in an intramolecular attack. Intramolecular aldol reactions show a preference for formation of five- and six-membered rings. Smaller rings are possible but are generally not observed. The mechanism for above reaction can be shown like this. There are two alpha carbons to this carbonyl group. Consider enolate formed on right side. Therefore this is nucleophilic site whereas the other carbonyl in the same molecule acts as electrophilic site. Intramolecular attack takes place to form the cyclic product. To keep track of carbons and bonds, we can number the carbons. New bond is formed between carbon 1 and 5. Carbonyl at C5 changes into hydroxyl group and C5 is attached to methyl numbered C6. This is beta hydroxycyclic ketone and will dehydrate to form double bond between C1 and C5. The other possibility is enolate is formed on left side with unsaturation between C2 and C3. In this case, C3 acts as nucleophilic site and attacks the electrophilic site at C5. Thus new bond is formed between C3 and C5, 
resulting in the formation of three-membered ring. This after dehydration will have double bond between C3 and C5. This three-membered ring is strained and not present in substantial amount at equilibrium. Because the equilibrium favors formation of a nearly strain-free five-membered cyclic product,